me talk to someone, be like, man, how do you think you're going to accomplish this? There are European white people out there who have done a lot of technology and you're just a mere African. How do you think you're going to make the thing go big? So this is our very own first prototype of the sparker dryer. This is our heat source here. Then this is the drying chamber where we dehydrate all our product from. We have lost quite a lot of people, so basically we lost how to do a lot of farming and agriculture. So it happened when I was uh, discussing with my uncle and I asked him what is really the problem with agriculture because you're telling me you wanted to leave farming and do something like building. Then it was like, you know, the main problem is when we harvest our, our product, it's quite hard for us to store all of it because we don't have any other means of storing it, like preserving it. When I see rotten vegetable like this, this quite inspire me to keep on going. That next time when I get here, I don't see anything like this. I only see nice fruits, dried fruits, and dried vegetable around. Before the sparker dryer, we were wasting a lot of our income. Then we were so really poor because of that thing. We could not even take our children at school because there was no money. When you take this two mango in the market, you will get only 500 shillings. A mango like this one, when it is dried, you will get 1,000 shillings out of it. People in Uganda tend to prefer products made elsewhere, trusting that this thing really works better if it comes, let's say, from, uh, from uh, outside of Africa or uh, from uh, some other country that they consider credible. So that is a real issue uh, that we need to change. We want to scale this up to reach East Africa, the rest of Africa and other parts of the world. And by doing that, I'll be the happiest man on earth because I would have saved quite a lot of people going hungry every day.